Hello, odd people. Well, I have seen some videos from uh, a, a YouTuber bulls that um, making me wonder what's going on. Okay. Um, first of all, I consider uh, these guys as uh, colleagues. Uh, you know, we are like a team. We we support each other. We 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 have the same view of the company, Neo. And uh, we uh, we like the model, we like the moat, we like what they're doing. We we understand the whole situation, so we have common denominator there, right? And for a long time, long time, these guys uh, supported Neo, uh, and 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 these guys are much different from the other guys who were pumping Neo at uh, forty dollars or fifty dollars. And now they, they were telling us to sell at, uh, you know, $5 and $6. Uh, so, so don't take it the wrong way. I'm just discussing a, uh, um, a scenario that we have now. And uh, we, we just need to talk about it a little bit. Uh, and I wasn't, I wasn't too happy with it, but that's okay. You can actually have, you can be working for the same company, uh, or you can have your own company sitting around with, with, you know with uh, your colleagues and you would have different opinion it's fine different opinion is actually healthy I, I i see it uh so one of them is uh, is marcel marcel you know uh, even questioning whether new would uh you know deliver the uh, q1 forecasted numbers the 31 to to 33 thousand and that uh, maybe uh, maybe it looks more and more like 27 thousand vehicles rather than the 31 to 33 and that could be because of competition and it could be because of uh, all these other things. But this actually uh, uh, spills cold water on, um, you know, on new stock and, 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 and new stock holders, you know, retail uh, investors. Uh, that's one thing. The other one is uh, uh, Aaron, Aaron from New Trending. And I like Aaron, you know, we communicate. We talked about the uh, class action lawsuit, or we actually communicated on that, and we still have some work to do on this. Uh, and he's been renewable for a long time. But I think um, he made a video on, uh, you know, is it too early? You know, and these things sometimes you you wonder, you know, you actually wonder sometimes: is it really too early? Is it part of this lessons learned? Like in the future, would you have invested in new that early, or would you have changed your um, philosophy in the investment. Personally, I would have changed, knowing that uh, because I learned so much about the uh, uh, U.S. Um, you know uh, versus Chinese companies. That's one thing, and uh, and the fact that the growth company has to go through this uh, test. It's like you know, you know, it's like you have to you have to go through this process to to prove yourself. Some something like that but anyways yeah of course you would but, but the the mere fact that you uh, um, you know you have this and you would say yes it is too early uh, for two reasons after all this time again you know it it's it spills uh, cold water on uh, retail investors you know without indirectly right uh, and then uh, I guess there was a comment from one of the uh, subscribers that um, you know, have you ever thought that you could be wrong? I actually got the same question. Did you ever think that you could have been wrong on, uh, on new stock? No, I could never be wrong on new stock as a company, but as a stock itself, well, you know, you, it's, uh, there's a question uh, marks, especially around the fact that it's Chinese company. That's the only issue. And I said it so many times. The only issue with new is it's Chinese company. Okay. So, uh, but my point is that, um, uh, you know, I don't think Marcel and, and, and Aaron are changing their views. I think it's more like entertaining and they're being objective. That's, uh, that's maybe the right term, being objective about these uh, situations. I'm afraid I'm going to be the only, you know, uh, guy or uh, maybe not the only guy. I, I know, uh, well, I don't know, maybe. maybe. I know Mr. P also covers Neo with a lot of videos and uh, wealthy mindset. You know these guys and especially wealthy mindset. You know, Mitch he actually supports Neo 
also uh, he's 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 kind of like me actually in some ways, but the the point is that um, these videos at this time I I don't know even even being objective I I actually don't know, and especially in Marcel's case when he says um, something about the uh, um, you know not meeting the deliveries and uh, and because if you actually want to do math based on the deliveries you have to use insurance numbers and we know all along that these insurance numbers are not reliable they are not reliable they come from lee auto and they are not reliable the other thing is that new and this is this is i said this before okay um okay listen to this because i said it more than once that there is a reason why new postpones the delivery uh, or the forecast to the third month it's because they want to give you accurate numbers so in my mind you know uh, and i know i know it was a uh, in marcel's case he used maybe 27 because of you know that would be the real number and because of competition and so on which which actually makes sense if you actually look at the numbers you you get in that but i don't believe in this because of the fact that uh, a new forecasted these numbers just a couple of weeks ago I just don't believe, I can't see it. I just can't see it. Or maybe three weeks ago. I just can't see it. I don't think Neo cannot see a month ahead. So because of this, I think they will meet these the, their delivery numbers. There's no issue in my mind, at least. Uh, okay, if, if it turns out to be wrong, then uh, then maybe uh, maybe it's lessons learned for me. That would be That would be a shocker to me. Okay? In my opinion, what will happen is that Neo will deliver bigger and larger num delivery deliveries this week for the previous week, um, and would deliver even uh, bigger delivery numbers the week after. And that is because of um, this uh, ramp up, like as as it was uh, uh, said in the in the earning call ramp up. Okay, so you 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 have uh, to go through the uh, um, this phase of ramping up you cannot reach the maximum in the first week or two or three it takes time it takes time and in new's case you have to clear 2023 and it and then uh, ramp up to 2024 so i actually consider the entire month of march as a transition month from 2023 to 2024 that's how I look at it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong for sure. So, uh, I actually expect the numbers to be maybe 50% higher than last week. And the week after would be over 4,000. I'm just going to throw numbers just to tell you what I feel is going on. And maybe Neo would even deliver more than the, the forecast. I, that's what I, I think. Anyways, the, uh, the point is that these uh, uh, videos actually, uh, you know, uh, uh, spills cold water on, on retail investors. Uh, uh, you, you know, it, it shakes their foundation all along. Where we're encouraging them to buy, buy Neo. Neo is a buy, no question about that. Even even the stock price today is is actually at the lowest of any estimate possible, of any, even all these. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, analyst uh, numbers are fake and, and, and manipulated numbers to begin with. It's even at the bottom of all of that. There's no question in my mind. It actually, if you want to uh, see a good um, uh, example of Neo, check Ehang. Ehang, E H. Ehang is a, is a company that makes uh, drones that you uh, transport people from, uh, from place to another. And the uh, and the thing is that the stock at one point was uh, at like hundred and twenty five dollars roughly. Then it came down crashing to all the way down and followed a similar trend to Neo. Followed a similar trend. If you actually look at the at the five year uh, chart, you can see it uh, dropping down dramatically initially, and then uh, and then kept on dropping and dropping and dropping, and then the uh, the slope of the drop uh 
uh, started to flatten and you know and so on it had you know, basically the same exact same process okay and then yeah, until it hit three bucks from 125 dollars which is double what new had to three bucks excuse me and uh and so after three bucks it went back up to uh what was it 124 dollars within like few months from three bucks to 124 dollars that's a 700 percent increase think about it 700 percent increase in that that's what is that what is that you lose within a year 90 roughly 98 percent of the value of the company and then um uh, and then in just six months you 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 have 700 percent increase in the same stock what is that what do you call that you know that's what happens growth stocks growth stocks if you i actually said that the um, new is an iconic stock an iconic stock in the fact that you can actually if you study new uh, in detail if you study new in uh, carefully and in detail you would find that uh, you have everything you want to know about the market if you want to know politics between say us and uh, and uh, and contender like china uh, then uh, you new is a great example you can say well there are other companies yes there are other companies the chinese companies jd B baba whatever fine but new is the future it's not baba you there's in my opinion neo will be the best out of all of them okay you hold my word to this in the future neo is the best but the thing is that if you want to know politics and the impact of uh, politics on a stock check neo if you want to know manipulation where you know you pump a stock or the process of having a stock from the ipo journey through the first phase of uh, a manipulation check new you would see this pumping and you would see the analyst uh you know and you would see the media everybody supporting them supporting the analyst everybody you would see the whole world so green beautiful and uh, only to see that you are actually being set up you're being set up <laughs> yes. and uh, and then you see that uh, uh if you want to know how the stock is brought back down uh, you would see, you check new if you uh, if you want to see how it is manipulated manipulated and controlled like on a leash it's like a, a tiger or lion on a leash check new check new if you want to know how the same analyst the same guy the same guy who would pump new at seventy dollars when new had nothing and then trash new at five dollars six dollars when new had everything check new if you want to see how analysts can so easily say something like this and they get away from it uh, uh, from from this and there's no nobody to say hey how can you say something like that you're misleading the you know retail investors check neo if you want to if you want to see analyst manipulation if you want to see if you want to see short uh, uh, articles that are pure garbage pure rubbish that have no value in 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 as for a stock other than a spread fear and spread spread rumors and twisting things check neo neo will give you that if you want to see the the amount the magnitude of the short uh, uh mini articles these pieces of junk check neo they will be all over coming from different names different different sources different names check neo you would see interviews made by people or by whatever check new you would see that if you want to see things where you have this taiwan war garbage check new taiwan war garbage there's no such thing i have been hearing the same thing over and over and over and over for years same stupid card check new this reminds me of greece back in some for 13 years ago or something where the whole market is collapsing and all you see in the headlines is greece that's it i said what greece is destroying the entire market for five billion dollars they needed five billion dollars bailout or help or something like that that's uh, that's what it is you know you make you make things so big and so crucial to the to humanity by having five billion dollars uh 
you know, some some assistance to a government or or a country or something like that. Check Neil. If you, if you want to see the the uh, how politics is played, how if you want to see lies even or misinformation, all of this you can see it. If you want to see the the fact that you know things are illegal by by naked shorting naked shorting is illegal if you want to see the process of how a stock is shorted you know how you actually short a stock you can see that how the stock is shorted how you can even create stocks from thin air imaginary stocks phantom stocks stocks that people pull from some holes and thrown to the public check neo you would see that you would see that maybe at some point i'm gonna start uh, um, inserting some some uh, some work i i did like even on this uh, you know failure to deliver of course failure to deliver you can't deliver you can't deliver something that you don't even have how can you deliver you're counting on the fact that you have to buy it you know, check Neo. If you want to see how institutions buy ne buy stock, they actually hold the stock, but at the same time destroy it while they're holding it, which is super confusing. It's super confusing. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, check Neo. Any trick under the table, over the table, anywhere, any trick. You want to learn, hey, what's going on in the market? I would actually recommend anyone who wants to learn something in the market, check NEO. Why NEO and not another company? And that is because NEO, in my opinion, it's the very best company uh, in the future. The very best. Technical-wise, fund, the, from the fundamental uh, uh, standpoint, not from politics. In the past, I used to think just, uh, you know, when you invest in a company, the, you have to invest in, in a sector, like good sector, right? And uh, such as now these days, it's all AI, it's all AI, you know? <laughs> but, uh, and also you have to select the good, uh, the company with the best model in the, in the sector and the best moat and the CEO. These are the key things, but we have to add politics and you have to add growth. Growth companies, they might go through some extreme testing and extreme manipulation. Extreme. I mean, we're talking about extreme. Like I gave you the example of Ehang, right? At that stock went, uh, uh, crashed to, uh, by 98% and then went up by 700%. We're just talking about year and a half time for this 98% crash and then 700% rise and who knows, okay? This is, uh, this is the thing, morning. This is the thing, you, you really have to see that we are actually in, in manipulated, not only in the stock, but even emotionally. We are being manipulated emotionally in, in all of this, that even some of the new bulls that uh, were new bulls for years, there's a little bit of, of, you know, maybe question mark or whatever. So that said, I'm just going to tell you, I, I think you guys, I mean, you guys do what's best for you. you. You do what's best for you. I do what's best for me. There is no obligation. As far as the stocks, uh, the stock, uh, I know I mentioned in the past, I have 25,000 shares and I mentioned then, and then, uh, you know, I, uh, I had them then added to 30,000 and I said, well, trim some, uh, you know, bec because of the earnings and because of blah, 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 whatever. And uh, yeah, sure enough, you know, this is, this is what we see. Uh, but I'm just going to say, you know, just do what's best for you. The, you know, I'm not going to commit to that anymore. Honest, to be honest with you, I'm not going to commit. I can actually have a lot less or few, or I could have a lot more. I'm just going to say that. Please do your own due diligence. Please uh, do what's best for you. 
uh, that doesn't mean I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, you know, given up on Neo. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. I will still support Neo. I'm just saying that, that um, you know, I told you, if I do something, I'm going to tell you ahead of time. And I'm telling you ahead of time. That's all. Okay. Um, that said, in my opinion, Neo is the very best, politics aside. You factor politics and see how significant that is. Okay, and um, and then uh, we'll, you know, make your own decision. All right, never financial advice. Thank you. Bye bye.